Introducing the Stemco Trifecta Hub Assembly. So before we get started installing the Trifecta, just to show you a few of the features on this hub assembly that make it easier to install and why it is as fast and reliable. So one, for reliability, we've actually drilled some holes in the spacer cone. Those are for lubrication flow and prevent fretting on the spindle. One of the big features that make it easier is the glide lock seal, the new Discover XR. This seal can be either installed dry or lubricated. And then the zip torque. So you've never seen the zip torque before. It's a an axle fastener that actually is self-locking. So as it tightens on, it gets itself locked in. And I'll demonstrate how it's used on the Trifecta hub assembly. So to get everything rolling, spindle's clean, everything's been checked, making sure there's no burrs, no high spots. We're gonna lubricate the spindle. Again, there is no need to lubricate the seal if you don't want to, but I'm going to just to make it a little easier. Get the hub assembly, we're gonna line it up. Careful on this spindle threads. Again, because there is a spacer cone in it, you're actually gonna to need to use your fingers in there just to hold it up a little bit and guide it over the threads. And then carefully line everything up, slide it on. And you'll notice on the zip torque, there's actually a tang that you'll see will catch. And that'll be the mechanism that allows you to tighten on. So we'll start by engaging the threads of the zip cord. And once they're engaged, we tighten it until it's hand tight. We're going to remove the retainer that holds the zip torque in place. You can keep it or recycle it or send it back to Stemco. And at the final installation, will be the 200 foot-pound torque. Now, there's no back off, it's just setting it at 200. You'll we'll see, I've already got my torque wrench preset. There's 200, spin it, 200, spin it. We're gonna do it three times, 200, spin it again. And at this point, the trifecta is installed. 